We're in Cincinnati, home of the Cincinnati Bengals at the Concrete Jungle. You know, people say this town is a real hellhole. <laughs> they couldn't be more right. You know, my Goober driver almost fell into this giant sinkhole on the way to the hotel. Hey, don't surprise me. One of Satan's favorite cities to hang in. Makes sense he's got his own highway to hell, right? Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Full Metal Mayhem bang heads against the Cincinnati Mangles. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Are you ready for some MFL action? Am I? I love MILFs. Mutants I'd like to fuck. He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you halfwit. Ow! Oh, I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime MILF lingerie girls team. What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all. Ho ho! Va 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 boom! And it's first and ten. Up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Fields. And now they can taste sound, but can't remember what the concept of time is. <laughs> Third down, and the punter is warming up. Killer, it was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in fantasy. League. And out comes the most underrated position in football the mighty punter. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. And the offense is pretty much on. Oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. He's hit the 40, the 30. He's hit the 20, the 10. It's a touchdown! And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. There might not be an I in team, but this guy's eyeballs are all over the other team's helmets right now. <laughs> oh, man. The offense has it. That was a close one. Oh, great tackle. 
When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. The kicker died on that play. Man, that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps on. You know, if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer, kiss kiss say, what the fuck the fuck the fuck? And it's first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. Oh, look at this guy break tackle. He zings it in there for a four-yard gain. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? <laughs> Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. That's a nice catch for five yards. Second down and five. He is fighting for every yard. And that'll bring up third down and seven. He had it for a second there. Man, this coach must have played too many video games. You got to punt it here. Come on. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick in there. One time. And that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Oh, a great catch, and he picks.
racks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Third down and nine. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. Caught for the first down. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. And it's first and ten. And a nice pass for a ten-yard gain. It's not a first down in the stat line, but it's a first down in our hearts. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Sorry, partner. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. Third down and a sliver. First and ten. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. Or at least it seems like it. And he snags the punt and looks pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And 
And it's first and ten. Whoa, and he laterals the ball to the player behind him. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Second down and five. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim! Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, man, he really... with the brain scrambler. The kicker just ended up in the meat wagon. They'll need to find another player on their bench who can kick field goals. Good luck with that. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Third down, and never going to happen. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets projected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. Nice catch. And he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and throws a super son first down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First and two. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. 
And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out during halftime. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And it's the quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. QB passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. Second, that's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math Big. well that's two timeouts burned and you have to wonder bricks are they desperate or are they in control yeah, i'm speaking from experience Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time and i have mastered it man this is a tough league when your kicker dies they've got to bring a backup off the bench let's see how he does and the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if the coach isn't liking that call. Ho-ho, oh, his head just exploded. Flat miss, flat miss. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I got you, you bitch. And this is a first and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. Ghost
The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. <laughs> and that player just transformed into a giant. Good luck. Oh, with the brutal hit. <laughs> and that'll bring up third and one. What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic person. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. And it's first and ten. He's not going down. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. <laughs> first down and nine. for a couple of yards. Second down and seven. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear to drunk, I'm not God, but seriously, stay in drugs, eat school, and don't do vegetables. Boom! And it's first and ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. He 
was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was fresh knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use any rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. And this rep is definitely on the take. That was a bogus penalty. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Third down and forever. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that <laughs> and they'll line up for the punt here is going to find a cutoff and he just lets that one go he says no thank you and the defense downs it and it's first and ten and the running game is starting to click now a pickup of eight on the play second down and two They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a gun. These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. And by talk, I mean stomp them into the ground. <laughs> First down and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> First down and forever. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And he picks up four on that passing catch. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. And they went to the air and came up big. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have pictures that... Uh, the third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. I got the thing stuck in my ear again! And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now and he's going to try and score. Man, what a hit that was!
And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. supposed to throw the ball forward. Uh, yeah, 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 you're right. You should. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? First and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Third down and ten. You don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your... Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Oh, it's a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and play. It was a risky throw, and the defense made him. Oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. First and ten. This guy's a brick show oh, with the brain scrambler.
First down and one. And the ball is let, and he runs it in for the touchdown. for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. on that run. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. It. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. They stumped the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Graham? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. And another interception. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Graham. You're right. Get stuff out of your gun. Oh, my God. Yeah. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. A timeout is called by the defense to stop the clock. They have one remaining. Second down and nine. Nice pickup for six yards. No more timeouts for the defense. Or the offense, Bricks. That's, that's the important part. Third down and three. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. Loss at home for the Mangles. Since so nasty fans are, well, used to it, I guess. They've got 99 problems, but a win ain't one of them. That's right, Grim. Just like a bridge over troubled water. Like a whole lot of Rosie. The game's most valuable player is speaking about the victory now. <laughs> Thank you.
Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.